Well, you probably already know this, but parking in the district can really be a headache. And it's not just about the lack of spaces. The signs can also be pretty confusing, but that could change soon. DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford joins us now from Northwest. And Sam, this was on the minds of many at last night's parking summit, right? Indeed it was. Uh, DDOT says it's aware of the problem and it has got a new manager of parking who came aboard last spring and parking confusion is at the top of his list. An attempt to park on some DC streets can be an exercise in confusion. Arrows this way and that, sometimes five signs on one pole. I think for most of them you need to have your lawyer present to uh, really understand. Signs were among the issues at last night's parking meeting between residents and DDOT's new manager of parking. Do you ever scratch your head when you're about to park? Start looking? Yes. I'm looking you right in the eye and saying yes. Angelo Rao says he's launching a program to get the signs under control, but it's a job. Someone said there's actually a million signs of one shape or another in D.C. One of our favorite is at Connecticut near R. It says police parking only, and yet it has active parking meters. Some motorists don't know what to do. Paul Meehan does. I park here every day. I don't really pay attention to it. I just put money in the meter and they never ticket me. One motorist looked at the sign confusion and said it ought to be enforced. They should tow this car away. <laughs> they should crush it in a compactor and then bring it back about the size of a shoebox with a ticket on it. Back to DDOT and Angelo Rao. One new approach he's trying is this. Put four messages on one sign. How long does it take to read that sign, you think? Probably at least 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Progress. Angelo Rao says that the number of people in the city doubles every business day and that the city needs to send out a lot of messages just to control the streets. He said that his job is to make sure that those messages are easy to understand and also to make sure that they do not conflict. And right now, his job is not finished. Reporting live from Northwest Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right.